everybody's doing well. So I'm doing some good old chickens and dumplings today. They're going to be a little bit different from kind of your regular ones because this is going to be roasted chicken and dumplings. So I'm going to throw the chicken in the oven, roast it off for a little while, kind of get that flavor started. Then I'll put it in my pot and get it going boiling to get my broth and stuff for getting flavor on my dumplings. But I got six chicken legs and thighs here because chicken and dumplings I want some chicken in it for sure so I'm gonna have plenty of chicken in it and too with being the legs and thighs you're gonna get a lot more flavor in it than the breasts I mean I, I enjoy the ones that are made with breasts and stuff but usually they're a little bit stringier and kind of little little drier and tougher but I mean they're still always good to me I mean I enjoy them but I like the quarters better for it so I'm gonna go ahead and Pop these in the oven, get them going. I got my oven at 350, so I'm gonna run those for <coughs> probably about 25 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna crank up the temperature to about 400, 420, somewhere in there, and run it again about another 15 minutes, kind of hit them a little bit more, a little bit more high heat to add some flavor to them. But uh, for the dumplings, it's gonna be kind of a cheat code for the dumplings, so you're not really have to roll out to make them or flipping them in your broth and make a little uh, dough to drop if you're doing drop dumplings. Today I'm doing a little cheat code with canned so, biscuit. If you're not sure how to make dumplings or you're kind of cut for time and you're like, I want them but don't have the time to <laughs> roll out the dumplings or whatever else, this is the way to go. It's super easy. I got the butter grains. You can do plain and stuff too. I just went with the butter because butter's good and adds more wonderful flavor. But yeah, so I'll get these and I'll throw them into a little uh, bowl that I got flour in and kind of roll them around in the flour. Then I'm going to roll them out, cut them into little uh, dumplings, and then I'll drop them in my broth once I have my chicken done and boiled and got it tender. Because once my chicken's out, I'll get it in here, boil it. Uh, start my broth or go and chicken's done to get it out pick it let it cool and then I'll start on my dumplings and uh, start them uh, dropping in my broth so well let's this chicken go I'll see y'all back probably when I'm taking it out of the oven so y'all can see what the chicken looks like so I'll see y'all in a few alrighty y'all got them done here I'll throw a little quick little clip of what they look like up close but got them done enough Got to just roast on them. They're not all the way done, but they're getting close. So, got them roasted off good to get color and flavor kind of going on them. So, now I'll put them in my pot here and uh, we'll boil them off to kind of get my broth strong and flavorful and get all the juices out of my pan as well. About lost it hot pad there because don't want to pick it up because I know it's pretty toasty still but yeah I don't want to don't want to lose none of that flavor because out of that good old thighs over there gonna be good so now I'll just add <coughs> some water to this to get it a boiling get my broth going and then once this is tender and falling off the bone I'll get it cooled off Pick it and then we'll start back on my uh, dumplings. And again, I'm just gonna put my canned biscuits in here and the flour, get kind of flour coating on them, roll them out kind of flat, cut them, and then I'll start dropping them in my broth there. So I'll come back with y'all once I'm probably rolling my biscuits out. So I'll see y'all in a few. Got my chicken done here, got it all picked and in my bowl ready to put back in. Got my broth done to, um, I strained it a little bit to kind of make sure there wasn't any particulates down in it. Try to clean it up too. So got it back on, chicken picked. Got this on like a really, really low simmer. So now we'll get into these biscuits here. If I can find a little tab and then let it, let it explode here. So. Boom! <laughs> there we go. So I'll get these 
<clears throat> put them in my flour here to roll them around. Try to get them coated. That way they roll out a little bit better and they're not sticking to my board. And also it's going to help with the broth, kind of make it thicker. So got those kind of coated. Now we're just going to start patting these on out. Get them flattened on out a little bit. And then we'll get them cut up and start dropping them in the broth there. And you want your broth kind of like, if y'all can see it there, just a little bitty simmer, not rolling bowl and stuff, so it won't tear up your dumplings. So you just want to kind of slow cook these and get them uh, going. So almost got that out pretty good. So there we go. You can see that right there. About that size. Get them rolled out. And then we're just going to cut into little dumplings. And then we'll start slowly dropping these in and letting them, letting them go. And I'm cutting them about that size right there. So, and you can cut them whatever size you want. So I'll get these a going, let them cook, and then we'll add back in the chicken. And I'll probably see y'all back after I've added in the chicken. So I'll see y'all in a few. Alrighty y'all, got them back here. Got them bubbling a little bit, turned down a little bit more. So now I've got the chicken back in there. I'll let it cook for another 15 minutes just on low there to kind of warm everything back through because <coughs> everything's pretty much done so it's just going to kind of slow cook on low for 15 minutes to warm everything through and then I'll be back with y'all to give you a taste test and run down again with what it is. Alright y'all, I got my bowl out here, got it out, it'll be cooling for a little bit while I chat about what we did with them again so <laughs> I had six chicken legs and quarters skin on and all and i seasoned them last night i'll grab my seasoning here y'all seen it before just a good old morton's season salt i used it on there and uh, sprinkle it all around and then just let it sit in the fridge overnight kind of did a dry brine and then got them out this morning put them on my sheet tray in the oven at 350 degrees for uh, 25 minutes. Then I cranked up the temperature to 425 degrees and let that cook for 15 minutes and kind of got that good golden brown and got them kind of skin crisp on up. And it does kind of hurt <laughs> to do them like that and then put them in bowl them because that skin is so good and crunchy and all, but it adds so much good flavor to the broth. So. Once I've got those done, put them in there, put water over them, then boiled them to those tender. Got those out, let them sit and cool, strained, and uh, cleaned up my broth. Put the broth back in, and then we started on the uh, canned biscuits there. Y'all saw I rolled them out. Got them just about like that. Then cut it in the strips, cut it in the dumpings. Put it back in the broth on just a low, low little bowl, little simmer. And occasionally you'll have to kind of move them around a little bit to start getting the dumplings dropped in there good. And once all your dumplings are in there, put back in your chicken. Give it a little bitty stir and then keep it on low there. And uh, <clears throat> let it cook for 15 minutes and then boom, there you go. Some easy cheat code dumplings there. Still, they're toasty. Y'all can probably see the steam coming off of them there so maybe the, maybe it won't burn me too bad i'll get one little single dumpling out there give it a little cooling so i won't <laughs> burn myself too bad i've done that too many times <laughs> anxious about getting a bite so mm. not too hot Still hot. Mm. Those are good. So that broth is super rich because, like I said, the biscuits I use were the butter biscuits. So the butter off of them kind of seeped into that broth. And that broth, you can taste that roasted chicken 
taste in it and that broth is whew, good real good so if you're needing a cheat code for making dumplings because you weren't hundred sure sure how to make them or you kind of didn't have as much time to make them mm. those little tin biscuits <coughs> can come in handy for the win and it was just a uh, eight large can biscuits is what I used <coughs> and then boom there you go but I do have a video on how to make dumplings too if there were some good old rabbit dumplings that I did so if you want to know how how to make dumplings I'll leave a, a card for that but there we go some easy chicken and dumplings so they're easy anyway but another way you can do dumplings too easy is just the tortilla shells so you can cut them in <laughs> little strips and throw them in there too and kind of get away with having dumplings but there we go the easy easy video not mine always are like i say but hope y'all enjoyed this and thank y'all so much for watching welcome on to the head to tail family for watching we love you and welcome on in so i'll catch y'all on the next one